Today I'm going to show you how to set up an iSCSI target on your Synology disk station and attach to the drive in a Windows 10 machine. So the first thing you're going to do from the Synology disk station manager is to add another iSCSI target or your first iSCSI target. So from the main menu you're going to go to the iSCSI manager and in the targets tab we're going to create a target which is also going to create a LUN so quite easily we're just going to create one I already have one target added uh, but we're going to create a second target and while you can enable some type of encryption uh, I'm not going to do that in this video in this video we're just going to do a raw iSCSI target with no encryption so all of these you'll leave as default <coughs> another page that you're going to leave as default because you want to create an iSCSI run and we're going to set the location to the current volume or any volume you want if your disk station, disk station has more than one volume you can choose the one you'd like uh, capacity we're going to add we'll go with the 250 gig drive if you can enable then provisioning if you like it's more efficient uh, the, the LUN can become read only when running out of free space on the volume so I'm going to leave thin provisioning off but you can enable that if you'd like and kind of does everything for you go ahead and apply and you can see your target and your LUN has been created see it's in a ready state and so the next step is going to be to connect to this target so to do that from the start menu we're going to open up the iSCSI initiator as you can see I just typed in iSCSI in the bottom and it came right up and I can type either the IP address of my network attached storage device or the computer name, DNS name. Now for this purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and use the IP address. And now we'll use Quick Connect. Uh, in my case, since I have more than one target, it's going to tell me to select which target. If you have only one target, it's going to start right away. Once I select my second target, the, or the target that I want to use which is target 2 I'm going to go ahead and click connect to it this next process takes quite a bit of time it's updating all of the necessary properties as well as actually attaching it to your machine if you're wondering what an iSCSI drive is even though you're already this far into the video, it's simply a network drive that's attached to the computer in a way that it looks like and acts like a actual physical drive on the machine. You're going to want to make sure that you have a good enough network connection um, to where it's even usable. Uh, probably a good idea to only do this on machines that have a hardwired connection, a consistent connection connected to your NAS and uh, because it looks like and acts like a regular system drive you can do whatever you want to it including uh, installing operating systems on it as a secondary uh, boot up. Uh, the reason I use an iSCSI drive is for uh, virtual machines. If it's a virtual machine where I'm running some type of service software where I don't necessarily need it to run quickly, um, then I will use I will use an iSCSI drive as opposed to my solid state drive.
again this long waiting time it's normal uh, I take a few minutes at times um, but it's really doing all of the work for you and we're done so we'll go ahead it's gonna say connected but I like to click it just to make sure I get that message and once I get out of that prompt you see that it's gonna show the second target is connected and in the discovery you'll see your network attached storage you don't have to do anything else here uh, unless you want to do um, more advanced configuration uh, but for a simple iSCSI drive you don't do, need to do anything else from this screen you do however need to initialize the drive uh, as of right now uh, the way your system is looking at the drive uh, it's, it's as if you just plugged it in and it hasn't even been formatted so we need to initialize it and format it by going to computer management and then on, under disk management you're going to see that the new iSCSI drive is visible as disk one however it's unknown and not initialized so um, We'll go ahead and set it up as a. So I'm going to be booting off of it. So we're going to set it up as a, a GPT. And then we're going to format it by right clicking the grayed out box and creating a new simple volume. Now, if you've never done this before, I'll explain it a little bit as I do it. But you're essentially telling it that you want it to format this drive with a certain type of file system and you can even sign it a drive letter because it's a nice because you it'll be neat to give it a drive letter of I but you can do whatever you want with it and I will call it I don't know I Z drive just for fun and we'll do a quick format and we'll click finish As you can see that the operating system automatically detects it once it's formatted and I will show you what it looks like in the file explorer and there it is. And so the performance that you're going to get from this drive it's I nearly identical to the performance you're going to get if it was a let's say a mapped drive. It's not much different the only difference is again the computer sees it as a almost as if it's a physical drive. So since I'm connected on a gigabit to my NAS, if I were to copy a file here, I'm going to get pretty close to gigabit speeds. Now for some reason when you're nice iSCSI, it always kind of bursts like that, and then it kind of slows down. But it will stabilize and eventually get a little bit closer to that gigabit line. This is actually quite a bit less, but it's about equivalent to a slower mechanical drive. It's actually quite a bit slower than a gigabit line. So that's how you create a nice SCSI target on a Synology NAS. Connect to that with the iSCSI initiator. Initialize and format the drive. And I've also shown an example of the performance you're going to get on a gigabit line. All right, thank you. Subscribe and like. And comment in the section if there's any other things you want me to show you how to do.